Friday, October 30th. Now, one of the things that has changed over this time, much as many other things have changed, is football. Now, not being a football fan, I haven't paid an awful lot of attention. But then I found this from one of our favourite authors, Michael Coist, Michelle Coist, if you remember. Listen to this. This evening at the stadium, the night was stirring, peopled with 10,000 shadows. And when the floodlights had painted green the velvet of the great field, the night intoned a chorale filled by 10,000 voices. The master of ceremonies had given the signal to begin the service. The impressive liturgy moved forward smoothly. The ball flew from celebrant to celebrant. as if everything had been min minutely planned in advance. It passed from foot to foot, slipped along the field and flew away overhead. Each was at his post, taking the ball in turn, passing it to the next one who was there to receive and pass again. And because each one did his part in the right place, because he put forth the effort required, because he knew he needed all the others. Slowly but surely, the ball gained ground and made the final goal. while at the end the immense crowd flowed laboriously into the narrow streets, I reflected, Lord, that human history, for us a long game, is for you this great liturgy, a prodigious ceremony initiated at the dawn of time, which will end only when the last celebrant has completed his final rite. In this world, Lord, we each have our place. You, the far-sighted coach, have planned it for us. You need us here. Our brothers need us. And we need everyone. It isn't the position I hold that is important, Lord, but the reality and strength of my presence. What difference whether I am forward or back, as long as I am fully what I should be. Here, Lord, is my day before me. Did I sit too much on the sidelines, criticising the play of others, my hands in my pockets? Did I play my part well? And when you were watching our side, did you see me there? Did I catch my teammates' pass and that of the player at the end of the field? Did I cooperate with my team without seeking the limelight? Did I play the game to obtain the victory so that each one should have a part in it? Did I battle to the end in spite of setbacks, in spite of blows and bruises? Was I troubled by the demonstrations of the crowd and of the team, discouraged by their lack of understanding and their criticisms? Was I made proud by their applause? Did I think of praying my part, remembering that in the eyes of God, this human game is the most religious of ceremonies. I come in now to rest in the pavilion, Lord. Tomorrow, if you kick off, I'll play a new position. And so it will be each day. 
grant that this game, played with all my brothers and sisters, may be the imposing liturgy that you expect of us. So that when your last whistle interrupts our lives, we shall be chosen for the championship of heaven. I don't know about you, but I'll never see a football game in quite the same way from now on. Play a good game. See you tomorrow. Bye.